Hello, in this video I will show you how to do timed events properly on an Arduino uh, using the millis function rather than the delay function. So we've all seen this before. It is essentially the Blink tutorial taken from the Arduino website. I've replaced the digital uh, writes with serial writes just so you can see in the serial monitor over here exactly what is going on. So this is just printing out two events switching an output high and then low, high and then low. Very simple. Obviously this is limited for a number of reasons, most prominently because if you want to do two things simultaneously, this delay is blocking the processor for the entire time it's running and you can't do anything else. So instead of a delay, we're going to use um, the millis function. That's the one. If you're familiar with it, if not, I'll talk you through it. Okay, so first things first, the millis function is based on the system clock. So when you first power up your Arduino, the time is zero. Um, it stores the time in an unsigned long somewhere in its huge memory. I'm using Arduino Nano for this, but you can use anything. It's all very much the same. So first I'll generate two variables, uh, both unsigned long. You don't have to use unsigned long for the second one but it does make the maths easier so it uses less processor power. Hence, it's a quicker process. It's, it, you know, the difference is minimal, but still it's, it's interesting. So I'll call the first one um, event one clock and set it equal to zero. And I'll call the second one event one delay okay and i'll set that equal to 500 so half a second so a uh, thousand millis is a second so we'll say it to a thousand so that is one second and again you're probably thinking well i could start that in a, a double i could start that in you know not int but you know there's you don't need the unsigned long that's a lot of memory to store a very small number but i could say it makes the math easier when you have to compare the two so I will compare the two using the millis function and an if function. If is is greater than um, event clock, I first things first. I want to write the event one clock to do the millis. The time for it next to trigger so first things first it will so this won't trigger again this will not be satisfied again until this period has transpired okay and when that has transpired i will serial print a thing so i'm going to serial print let's get rid of all that crap i will serial print hello event one okay so only when this has been satisfied will this print event one and the rest of the time this loop will be spinning around very very quickly being nice and free so the processor can do other things so let's just compile this and bang it into the comp part and if we clear that out that will print out hello event one once a second as this is um, satisfied. You're probably wondering what the difference is. Well, the difference is I can have two events at completely different intervals. So, uh, event two clock and event two delay. So, I don't want the event two to happen every second. That would be easy. I want the event two to happen every um, 1.5 seconds. So, I'll just copy this function from here and bang it down here uh, event two clock and you can see where i'm going with this is reasonably straightforward but it should be in everyone's toolbox as a way of avoiding using the delay at any instant because delay is awful so let's just clear this output so 
they have them very similar, very close to each other. So on average, there should be two ones to every two thereabouts. So you can see that they are happening in their own individual clocks, and the timing events of each are not dependent on each other. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational. Please like and subscribe.